Mitsubishi. My name is Austin Johnson and welcome to Barrick Mitsubishi. It's a pleasure to have you today as we do this walk around video on this 2014 model Mitsubishi Triton GLXR. So what I'm going to do today guys is go through the interior and exterior of this Triton, show you what it's really about, get all the specifications uh, out in the open for you. And what I'm also going to do is uh, if there's anything on the vehicle that I believe you would have a concern upon viewing, uh, I'm going to go ahead and point them out to you and be really picky for you in this vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and start at the front end of the Triton here. As you can see, everything presents very well. We do have this nice Iron Man front bumper already installed for you. This is around a $2,500 value, guys. It's already been installed on the vehicle. As you can see, we do have some nice fog lights on there and some spots for some different driving lights if you would like to add those on. Really, really in good shape and just really gives the vehicle that extra protection that you need. Uh, whether it be for work, off-roading purposes, anything like that, this really does do the job for you. As you can see, we have the nice flat white color on this vehicle and the bonnet and everything on the vehicle is in fantastic shape. Few minor, minor stone chips on here, but nothing major at all. Overall, really, really good condition on this vehicle. As we come around to the driver's side of the Triton, we see that we have the nice fender flares going on the front here. And then we do have some brand new all-terrain tires all around this vehicle for you. As we take a look at our first premium alloy wheel, we find that it has absolutely no gutter rashing, is in fantastic condition. Paired with that nice new all-terrain tire, really makes this vehicle stand out. We do have some nice chrome, ac chrome uh, accented vents here, and we do have the nice uh, chrome side mirrors as well. As you can see, we do have the assist steps on this vehicle already added on for you, and we do have the nice chrome door handles as well. Now guys, this vehicle does have the privacy glass, but the one thing that I would recommend to really make this vehicle more practical and to stand out on the road for you would be to add some uh, tent on your front windows here. <clears throat> so as we move along the side here guys everything presents really well. No major stone chips or scratches so really good to see. We'll take a stop here at our second premium alloy wheel which is also in fantastic condition. No gutter rashing or anything on it at all. Paired with a nice new all-terrain tire and as you can see we do have our nice mud guards already put on for you. And then we get to the really good part of this guys. So uh, using this vehicle for any type of work purposes, whether you're doing plumbing, whether you're an electrician, whether you're a construction worker, doesn't matter what field of business you're in, uh, this, this bed right here is really going to help take care of the job for you. So as you can see we have the nice steel tray and then we do have toolboxes located on each side which are very easily open, openable and they do have uh, locking components as well. So we'll go ahead and open the first toolbox here just to show you some storage area that we have. So as you can see here guys, we have a lot of space in here, any, any, a lot of area to store, you know, electrical cables, paint, whatever you need down here at the bottom. As you can see, we have a nice shelf up at the top and another shelf unit that's been built in here for whatever you would need to use that for in any type of trade industry. This really is going to take care of the job for you. Go ahead and pop this back down, lock it up, we'll shut the tailgate here, the side. Really simple and easy to do. Come around to the back end here. As you can see, this is from Fleet Trades. You do already have your nice tow bar already installed. So anything that you need to tow with the vehicle or take care of, um, it's going to have that taken care of for you with that tow bar already installed. We see that we do have a full-size spare tire located underneath as well, which is really good to have already. And then guys, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and pop the back tailgate here. That way we can take a look really inside here at your tray. As you can see, the tray and everything's in really good shape. And you do have a lot of room going through the middle here to store, you know, shovels, ladders, anything you would need. And we do have some spots up here where we can add some, some racks at the top, which is great to see. As you can see, guys, we also have some nice storage bins located right here for you. So you've got three different compartments that you can store anything you would need to uh, just inside here. So really fantastic to see. And now I'm going to go ahead and drop down this side as well. All right, so as we drop down the side here, guys, uh, what we're going to look at again is just this nice shelving unit that we have up top and then we have plenty of storage space at the bottom uh, for whatever you would need to use that for as well. Uh, so guys, all together with this nice steel tray and the two toolboxes and the cargo bins on this, we're looking somewhere close to a five grand add-on on this vehicle. I mean, we're looking at a lot of a lot of expenses that have been put in here and it's really built for any type, type of work that you would need to use this for. So, so fantastic to see that that's already put on there for you. Go ahead and shut this back up. And we'll go down the passenger side of the Triton here. So guys, we'll take a stop at our 
Uh, third premium alloy wheel here. We can see that it's also in fantastic condition. No gutter rashing or anything like that visible on it. Paired with that nice new all-terrain tire for you. As you can see, we do have our diesel, diesel filler cap just located directly here for you. Assist steps once again with the nice chrome accenting on the door handles. And this side presents fantastically as well. Needs a bit of a clean, but that comes standard with any purchase of a used vehicle here at Barrick Mitsubishi. Um, so no, no major marks or anything presents very well. Take a look at our last premium alloy wheel and we see that all four wheels on this vehicle were in perfect condition, no gutter rashing at all, and all paired with those brand new all-terrain tires for you. So what I'm going to do now guys is pop the bonnet on the Triton and we'll really take a look at this diesel, diesel engine and the internals and show you what keeps this vehicle running and on the road for you. So as we take a look under the bonnet on the Triton here, we see that everything's in fantastic condition. We do have a nice new battery for you. Everything's been well taken care of, very clean. Uh, so what we're looking at here, guys, is a 2.5 liter diesel engine. It is a four cylinder diesel. It produces 131 kilowatts of power and 350 newton meters of torque. It is backed by a five speed automatic transmission. And once again, this vehicle is a four wheel drive. You're looking at 9.6 liters per 100 Ks driven on a 75 liter diesel tank. And on a full tank of diesel, you are looking at around 781 Ks driven, so almost 800 Ks driven on a full tank of diesel. You also do get three tons of towing capacity on this vehicle as well. All right, guys, so as we move into the interior of the Triton, you can see everything presents very well. It's been very well kept and in very good shape. For a vehicle that has 128,000 Ks on it, it doesn't present that way at all. Now, this is a diesel engine, so this vehicle will last you much, much longer, guys. Um, we'll go ahead and start over here on the right side. And uh, as you can see, we do have our uh, automatic window controls just located here. And then we also have our side mirror controls located here for you. This vehicle does have the power folding mirrors, so just with a touch of a button, you can and fold those in and out. We do have our traction control button located here. And then on the right stick here, guys, we do have our headlight and fog light controls with also our blinker controls as well. And on the left stick here, guys, we do have our uh, windshield wiper controls located there handily for you. All right, guys, on the right side of the steering wheel, we do have all of our cruise control settings. So really good to use on any long trips, any long highway driving, just obviously a nice feature to have. And then over on the left, we do have some infotainment settings such as volume and seeking controls. Below that, we do have our Bluetooth settings for the hands-free Bluetooth uh, controls as well. Uh, guys, you see that we have a really nice dash set up here. Uh, so just really gives you an idea of everything going on in the vehicle. You do have your four-wheel drive um, sit, you know, located up there as well. So really good to see that. As we move to the middle of the vehicle, we see at the top here we have a bit of an infotainment system. Shows you your uh, the direction you're going, temperature, and also your clock located there with some fuel economy below that. Below that, we do have our infotainment system, which has your CD player located at the top your hard buttons uh, below there. Really easy to work and use, guys. You do have your power and volume controls just on the left knob here, and then some tune, uh, tune selection just located here on the right knob. Below there, guys, we do have our climate control settings. Uh, so over here, we do have our modes, so your climate modes. And then in the middle, we do have our uh, fan speed located there with your temperature controls just on the far right knob. Hazard controls just located right here. Below that, guys, you can see we have a nice little space for storage. And just below there, we do have a cigarette lighter and then also a sliding rear glass, uh, which you can just use with the touch of a button here. As you can see, I have it popped open now. We'll go ahead and hit the button, pull that right back up. So just a really nice feature to have, especially maybe during the summertime there. It's a nice feature to use and have. We do have a little more storage space below that. And then as you can see, we do have our nice automatic transmission located here. Um, so really easy to use. As I put it in reverse, you see that we have the nice reverse camera located up top here. Really clear view and just makes backing in and out of tight spaces and maybe pulling up to a trailer with your hitch an absolute breeze for you. Uh, over beside that, guys, we do have our four-wheel drive controls. And this here, um, the leather and everything on the shifter is in fantastic condition. Really, really good shape on that. Below here, we do have a little bit more of a change spot with dual cup holders, handbrake just located here. And then we do have a two-tier center console. So as you can see up top, we have some extra space for change or anything we would need. And as we open up the main part, we see it's nice and deep, and we do have an auxiliary jack located in here for you as well uh, for whatever you would need to use that for. So guys, what I'm going to do now is just have my camera person pan around the interior of the Triton, let you get a better look at just how well uh, this vehicle presents. The cloth and everything is very comfortable in here and in very good shape. No tears or anything in the seats, so really good to see. <clears throat> and guys, what I'm going to do is get the service history together here. 
And you will be delighted to know uh, that this vehicle has been serviced very, very well uh, during the time it's been driven. All stamped by a dealer and very well taken care of. So we had our first service done, guys, at 15,000 Ks. Next one right at 30,000 Ks. 46,000 Ks, 64,000, 74,000, 98, 119,000, 128, and that was when it came in here to Barrick Mitsubishi, and we went ahead and did an intermediate service on the vehicle for you. Uh, so just really good to see that, guys. Gives you that peace of mind to know that this vehicle has been taken care of. So guys, I do thank you for your inquiry on the Triton very much. Um, if you have any further questions uh, or would like to come in and view the vehicle, set up an appointment to test drive it, please just give us a call at 9907-0555 and one of our friendly staff will be very happy to help you out.